Hi everybody, my name is Justin McCaffrey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please do like and subscribe if you can and hit the bell to get notified of my latest videos. I want to talk this morning about sleep and how sleep is directly aligned with your heart rate variability and also your vagal tone. I'm speaking from experience because last night wasn't one of my better nights sleep. And sleep, to be honest, is a superpower in terms of recovery from any issue with your nervous system. We know that nervous system issues are inflammation and even people suffering from long COVID or long haul COVID tend to be people who are suffering in terms of unresolved issues from a psychological standpoint, which then become physiological after COVID. One of the key things to consider is sleep. So before you go down the road too much on medication, try to get your sleep into good shape. So that's also applicable if it's anxiety or depression. Speaking as somebody who has suffered in that area myself and having worked with many, many clients over the last seven or eight years, sleep is a big factor. Now, a lot of times people will be using supplements such as melatonin, which can be helpful, but I would really like you to explore the simplicity of getting your sleep into good shape. And most importantly, thinking about routine. Routine and structure is the key to improving your sleep. And how did my sleep go wrong last night? I ate later than I normally do. I ate too much. So when we're sleeping, we are in that parasympathetic state, we're moving into that resting and digesting state. However, if you have a large quantity of food in the stomach, you are going to be digesting food whilst trying to sleep. Why is that a problem? Your core temperature is up. So your core temperature rises whilst you're digesting food. And there's also a whole lot going on in terms of the exertion on your body. So ideally trying to make sure that you do not eat for two, even three hours before you sleep will have a significant impact on your sleep. And as we sleep better, our heart rate variability improves or our vagal tone. And as we have higher vagal tone and higher heart rate variability, we tend to have reduced inflammation in the body, improved mood, and our baseline happiness is improved as well. So if you can take anything from this video, please take a focus on sleep. Routine is key. I'm very rigid in terms of when I go to sleep. Normally I'm going to bed at half nine, 10 o'clock because I wake up at 5.30, quarter to six every day. The circadian rhythm is what drives my nervous system. And I don't have an alarm clock set because my body moves inside of the amount of sleep that it needs. For me, that's about seven and a half hours a night. It varies from person to person. And also it can change with age as well. But getting routine and structure into your sleep is critical. Avoiding food before you go to bed, ideally two or three hours, is critical. Avoiding alcohol, painful, but it will improve your sleep. And most importantly, if you don't have enough sleep, you will feel anxious. If I had a couple of days of bad night's sleep, I would start to have anxiety to be anxious about. But it's the nervous system's natural way to stimulate your mind to think, is there a bigger problem that we haven't figured out? Going back thousands of years, if we were not sleeping for long periods of time, it would have resulted in a situation where our body and our nervous system would have been concerned that maybe there is a threat in the immediate vicinity. So it starts to ponder, ruminate and worry about the possibility of an imminent death or attack. So know that when you don't sleep, your nervous system will go into overdrive looking for problems, rooting around in your mind and trying to find things to worry about. So organize your sleep, realize that anxiety is a byproduct of it and get yourself into a position where you you can feel calmer, more relaxed, and more content. There's a couple of sleep videos on my channel where I do guided talk downs to help you sleep. They've been watched thousands of times with other people, see if they help you. But most importantly, create a nice conducive environment to sleep in, bring a routine together, avoid eating before you sleep, and this will increase your heart rate variability and your vagal tone, juicing inflammation in the body, making you feeling happier and healthier. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.